It's a well-known fact that the Queen Mary, a historic cruise ship permanently docked in Long Beach, California, is one of the most haunted sites on the planet. So it makes perfect sense that someone would have a very scary Ouija experience on board the ship even if they made their board out of two pieces of paper and some band-aids. When Red Editor Garden 198 and some friends decided to experiment on the ship, they spoke with a spirit who said that its name was Zack and who may have tried to physically assault the team after they went to bed that night. Each member of the crew suffered night terrors, with one of them running through the Our Father prayer in a state of lucid dreaming. Red Editor Huxley Pearl relates a Ouija board story that seems to be more about a family of intuitive people who live in a haunted house than anything else. But it's worth knowing that their spooky troubles didn't begin until they horsed around with a Ouija board. Afterward, their ghostly issues included phantoms pulling on a baby's limbs, a black-clad ghost slave family, and the appearance of a creepy red door. What's more, the sister in this family may have summoned up something very troubling. Anyway, her sister said that she was playing with the board one day, and when she asked who she was speaking to, she got a weird name. It struck her as odd, but she didn't really worry about it. Weeks later, she watched a special on the History Channel or something. They were discussing demonology. She recognized one of the names as being the strange one she had encountered through the Ouija board. After reading this collection of spooky Ouija stories that happened to Red Editor Kimmy Gibbler, you're probably going to buy a ticket for the No Thank You train just like us. The writer's most terrifying story comes from an evening when a spirit named Deb proved that it exists by explaining that it knows where she and her friends smoke, possibly insinuating that it's watching them as they get their fix. Not freaked enough by this information to stay inside, the Redditor and her friend Haley pressed Deb to prove she is real. I said how will we know, you're real, and she said trees. I am like fuck that and Haley says we have to do it. So, we're smoking outside, I'm looking into the forest sweating balls in fear, thinking I'm going to see a fucking demon face in the branches or something. Eventually we relax, but then Haley, mid-sentence, her face drops and goes white and she's like, get inside now. I toss my cigarette and jump in the window. We close the blinds and we're breathing super heavy. I'm like, what happened? She says that behind me, in the distance, there was a big ass, like 100 foot tall tree. There was an old wind. I remember this because I was watching my cigarette smoke go directly up and I was blowing perfect O's without them disappearing. She says the tree was still, then suddenly the whole tree, including the trunk, moved back and forth, then went back to perfectly still. I was like hell and oh, and after a while freaking out, sat back at the board. When we put our fingers on it, it said, did you see? Redditor Amabel Sack went out of their way to get haunted by something that came through their Ouija board. After trying and failing to contact a spirit the first time, they cut the lights, lit some candles, and turned on an old radio to play nothing but white noise while they tried to make contact with the other side. That's a pair of bad idea genes if ever there was one. When a spirit finally responded, the Redditor and their friends learned that its name was Zozo, and from there, things went about poorly as they could. We began to try and move the planchette in circles like you do when you're expecting an answer, and all of a sudden, it fucking stopped the hello spot of the board and would not fucking move. We actually slid the whole board off the table trying to get it to move. It was being pushed down, hard. The planchette continually alternated between hello and no, the radio emitted screeching sounds, a bunch of objects fell off the top of the refrigerator, the candles blew out, and a cat that lives at the house began walking with a limp the next day. Weird activity continued in her home for the next two weeks. If you've seen any horror movie with a Ouija board, 
you know that the last thing you want to do is burn a spirit board. We don't know the exact science behind it, but something about setting one of these things on fire angers all the ghosts and then you have to figure out how to get them out of your house. Redditor Orphantier decided to get spooky with his friends one day and printed out a Ouija board from the internet, and after they failed to get anything going with the ghost, they burned the board in the fireplace. But then everything got creepy. A set of downstairs doors opened randomly, and they heard continual banging from downstairs. The creepiest part of the entire story is that one piece of the board survived, the word yes.